We're gonna be testing and reviewing this Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions ceramic spray coating that so many of you have requested. I am very excited about this product, especially because Turtle Wax has been putting out so many excellent new spray products as well as other solutions that have really made the brand exciting today. If you're kind of as old as I am or older, Turtle Wax was kind of almost your dad's car washing product. But today it's actually on par with so many of these boutique products that solutions like these can become very exciting to testers and reviewers like myself. Let's kick things off with application testing. Now this product claims this should be as easy as a few mists, and then we should be able to simply wipe the product around. Then once the product is nice and wiped, I'm gonna flip my towel, but what a lot of people will do if they're actually working on a real vehicle with many surfaces is they will use a second towel. That way they have both a clean towel and a dirty towel. Now, as I wipe this up, I'll mention the product has a few safety warnings. It talks about not getting it in your eyes and keeping it out of reach of children. I'm seeing a little bit of streaking as I try to wipe it up. They do tell you with this product that you could wait 24 hours and apply a second coat, but we're not gonna do that. We keep things to one coat unless the product requires multiple coats. Most products do benefit from optional secondary coats. Now that I've got everything applied, I'm gonna give you my opinion on the ease of application. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you know ease of application is worth one point. It's just how easy I thought the product was to use compared to other similar products in the category. Now, in this case, I will give the product a pass. It'll get one point. Now we're gonna let the panel cure for 24 hours and then we will continue our tests on this panel. Here, we're gonna use this little gloss meter to determine whether or not the hybrid ceramic spray coating from Turtle Wax has improved or hurt the gloss of this panel. Now, I've explained in past videos why I use this panel, but essentially it gives much more consistent results than something like my car test hood. Base gloss is 94 gloss units on this side, which we haven't treated. And on this side, we will find out what the delta is from having used the product. So we're gonna turn our gloss meter on. We're gonna make sure it reads 104. Uh, at 20 degrees here, which is what our sample is. And we know that it's calibrated. And then we're gonna take five readings and see how we do. So it looks like we're getting 87.6 in that top corner, 89.3 in that one. Looks like about 85.9 in the middle, 90.1 in this corner, and looks like 90.6 here. So we've got 443.5, we're gonna divide that by five to average for 88.7 as our average gloss unit score. We're gonna subtract 94, the product is gonna score a negative 5.3 because it knocked some of the gloss down. Now, that isn't necessarily uncommon. A lot of products knock gloss down. A lot of times some of the very rich and uh, warm looking, very pleasant products do knock the gloss down, but they still look very good. One thing we can do is take some of the product off with alcohol and we can see it's all nicely beating here. Yeah, see how it's not beating much anymore. And we can now use our gloss meter to confirm that we've really removed the product and 94 gloss units. Now, before we move on, I wanted to remind you that there are Amazon affiliate links down below in the description, which link to the products that we're using today in this video, as well as some of the tools. Now, if you click through and purchase anything at all on Amazon, I get a very small commission at no added cost to you, and it helps me run this channel. As usual, there is also a link to my website down below in the description, which you should bookmark because it contains all our prior test results so you could see how today's product compares. And then of course, I would love it if you left me a nice comment, a thumbs up, your thoughts, criticisms, and uh, of course, I would love it if you subscribed to the channel. It has now been 24 hours and the Turtle Wax Hybrid Ceramic Spray Coating is cured and we're ready to start our slickness testing. I'm not gonna go through every single detail and the math behind how this test works. I do have a separate video for that. And if you're interested, I will link the video right up here in your top corner. So we're gonna use this device to measure the gram force that it takes to get the static coefficient of friction of that 1,040 gram block. Essentially, we're just gonna see what it takes to get it to break free. So in this case, we got 150 grams. Move it again, 100 grams here. Move it again, 70 grams. 
90 grams. Let's get our fifth reading. 112 gram, 120 grams rather. So we're gonna take the 530 grams, we'll divide it by five, and we're saying it takes about 106 grams to move that block. But we're gonna round that up to 110 due to the accuracy of our device. So we're gonna say 110 divided by 1040, which is the weight of our block, and that gives us a static coefficient of friction, and we're gonna round up of 0.11. So we know that the bare panel without any wax on it is 0.38. We're gonna subtract 0.11 to get our delta, and that means we shaved off 0.27. Now to get a score sort of from zero to 10, we use a point factor of 30, and that means this product is gonna get scored at an 8.1. So let's talk about visual appeal. This is also a subjective score, so it's pass fail, a point or zero points. Just my opinion on how good the product looks. And personally, I think I can't really tell the difference. I can't even really find the line where the tape was. It just sort of seems like it looks the same as the rest of the paint. You know, the really good products really bring out that shine and luster and kind of deep, warm quality. To get a failure, the product would really need to reduce the quality of the paint. And in this case, it doesn't do that. It's not like it made the paint ashy or dull. So we'll say one point for the visual appeal. Let's talk about UV protection testing. And I'm not gonna go through the whole spiel about how this test works. I have a whole separate video for it. I will link it up in your top corner if you're interested. But essentially, like many products, in fact, all products, we found there is no meaningful UV protection here. Uh, essentially, we have a chart that goes from 0 to 16 points, with 16 being complete UV protection and 0 being no UV protection. And with this one, we're going to land somewhere around a 3. It's darker than a 4, lighter than a 2. That's about as high as we've seen anything score outside of something like a clear coat or even a suntan lotion. So those are going to be kind of in your 8s. We are now at the durability portion of our review. And as you can see, it's a rainy day here. It's actually gonna be raining all week. And I've got my hood kind of set up on the edge here. It's still catching a little rain. In this testing, what we do is see how long the hydrophobic properties of our wax last while I repeatedly wash the panel. And every time I wash, I will add a point. Once it finally fails, we will stop counting and say that that is the score for durability. We are using the same shampoo, same dilution ratio, same exact uh, microfiber sponge, uh, all the same stuff that we've used for prior tests. So first, let's take a look and see just how hydrophobic this product is on its own. I would say that's very reasonably hydrophobic. So now we're gonna use our spray bottle. And we're just gonna wash this side here and kind of keep that side as our control. Now we're gonna do our rinse. All right, now let's take a look and see if the product is still working after one wash. All right, and I'd say it's still working well. I didn't see any real noticeable hit after our one wash. All right, let's see if it's working fine then. All right guys, we are at the 10th wash. Let's take a look and see if this turtle wax is still working after a whole 10 washes. Let's rinse number 10. So at 10, I think the performance is still good. I just completed the 48th wash and I think we're pretty much there. It just got a little bit worse every single time and I think at 48, we're right about there. So let's do the 49th and let's see if that'll be our final point. As you can see, I've gone through a lot of shampoo. 
All right, let's rinse off number 49. Let's look at it. So as you can tell, the left side is still working, but the right side with our product uh, that's been washed over and over, I think that's completely dead. Yeah, there's some little spots where it still works and it kind of helps drain the water down. Like that wouldn't be acceptable on my car. Let's wrap up the video with an overview of my thoughts for the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solution Ceramic Spray Coating. If you compare it to the rest of the Turtle line, and look at something like Seal and Shine, the durability is more than twice of that product. Now, if we do start to look at other ceramic spray coatings, something like the Adams ceramic spray, spray coating or the Adams graphene ceramic spray coating is much more durable than this. However, those are harder to use. I'd say this is closer to like using the Seal and Shine. I will say compared to the Seal and Shine, it is a little harder to wipe up you gotta really watch out for those high spots. Then when we look at gloss and visual appeal, well, the gloss hit was pretty big compared to other spray coatings and even compared to the uh, Seal and Shine from Turtle Wax. However, the visual quality also wasn't amazing. You know, it didn't lose points because it didn't harm the look of the paint, but some of the other products can really make it pop more than it does on its own after a polish. And of course, as usual, we did pre-polish this hood. And then when we look at slickness, it was pretty good. 8.1 is a very solid score. And of course, with UVA protection, we didn't really find any uh, meaningful protection, just like we really don't with any other product. I'm still waiting to maybe one day find one that works as well as even sunscreen. So overall, I think this is a product worth keeping in your arsenal. You know, maybe as a whole, it is not quite as strong as some of the other ceramic spray coatings. However, it is very cheap. It is like half the cost or less than a lot of the other ones that perform better than it. And then it's only a little more money than something like the Seal and Shine. So if you're looking for durability that's easy to apply, this is a really great option. I hope to see you down below in the comments and of course, like and subscribe. Catch you again real soon.